Let's begin with this product rule question, that's what you told me before. Some of you um, don't label which is U and V, and to be honest, that's okay, unless it's not. Um, as I walked around, a few of you, particularly for question two, you were mixing up which one was U, which one was V. That's a signal to you, hey, you know what, just, just put the extra bit and it will help you out, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, having just labeled them, I reckon we should be able to work out our V U dash plus U V dash without too much trouble. And again, as you've seen, because we're adding it's a product, the order doesn't matter, so we'll have to worry about that on the next question. In this case, V is log of X, like so. By the way, fun fact, when you have a look at um, textbooks, they will sometimes just write down log X, and this is the log that they mean, base E. Unfortunately, on your calculator, that exact same thing doesn't mean base E. What does it mean? Base 10. base 10, and you can tell there's actually a clue on your calculator. Above this button, it will say, if I'm not mistaken, it'll say like 10 to the x. Is that what it says? And that's your clue, that's your reminder that this is base 10. Again, it was because of that scientific notation, scientific calculator. So just note for that, when you're reading it, it means this. When you're pressing it, it means that. Okay. There's V. What's U dash in this case? It's just one. So it doesn't change anything, but I like to write it for completeness. We set u as being equal to x, and then the last piece is the one we just proved. What's v dash? 1 over x. So it's going to nicely simplify out, okay? I'm just going to get log base e of x plus 1. Happy times? All right, let's have a look at the next one. Question rule is always a little bit trickier, but what we're differentiating is, is it x minus 1 on log x? Can't even remember. Yeah, happy times? So, uh, just like before, I'm going to set my U and my V. And even though I've literally done this tens of thousands of times, I still like to write the quotient rule just because I'm paranoid about misremembering something or just jumbling it in my brain. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't take long. I did it while I was talking to you guys, so it's a, a real time saver if it helps you get things right. Let's have a look. What's V? Just log base A of x. What is u dash? Just like before, it's 1, that's nice. Here comes u, it's x minus 1. And then my v dash, which we've already seen and we're going to use again, it's 1 over x. All divided by, make sure you get the right part, it's all of this squared. And I would highly encourage you, if you haven't already, pop some brackets around there, because if you don't, it's not clear at all what's being squared. Is the x being squared? Or is the whole log being squared? And we want the whole thing, okay? Now in this case, there's actually not a huge amount that can be simplified, right? When you have a look at this, you're like, okay, log. That's great. And then over here, you're like, uh, to try and get rid of these fractions, if I expand, guess what happens? You just get another fraction. So you're like, uh, whatever, right? If you really wanted to, you could actually multiply through the whole numerator by x, which would mean you would also multiply the denominator by x, and that would get rid of your fractions, right? So if you wanted, this would be fine. I'm going to go x log x minus x plus 1 all over x log all squared. Does one of those look obviously simpler than the other one to you? I mean, to me, it's much of a muchness, right? So I'm like, I'm fine just leaving there. Usually I don't like fractions on fractions, but I don't think this is a clear advantage, so I think you'd be totally fine just leaving it there, okay? All right, now, we're on the tail end of these examples, but four has a bit of a, um, a twist in it. So let's have a look at three quickly. It's log x, and it's all cubed. Okay, now at this point, it may help you to do chain rule fully, right? Because we're pretty good at that if we do our notation properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this, as I have with product and quotient rule, I'm going to call it u, okay? Now having done that, I then need to work out what this whole thing is, y equals u cubed, and then this works, lets me work out my two different derivatives, the things that chain together. Does that remind, remember how that works? dy on du what happens when something is cubed? It becomes 3u squared. 
And in the same way, I'm going to differentiate this thing. Uh, du on dx. And that's the same familiar log x we've been using this whole time, right? So it's going to just be equal to 1 over x. To get the full derivative, dy on dx, I just need to chain these two together. This one and this one, okay? So, here we go. dy on dx equals, I'll write down this one first, and instead of u, I'll write it just the way it was before. So it was 3 log x squared. And then I'm multiplying by this. I could write times 1 over x right at the end, but I'm just going to go in one hit because I can finish right there. Does that make sense? Okay, very last one. Let's look at this one together. And I'm going to do it in much the same style. I'm going to introduce a u and do that substitution. So the question is for y equals, was it x squared minus 1? Yeah. Cool, thank you. Okay. So watch closely, right? Pull the same trick. Let's call this thing u. x squared minus 1, that's my u. So therefore, y is going to be equal to log base e of, well, I'm not calling it this anymore, I'm calling it u. So write that. And what this gives me is a new derivative, dy on du. Now I've changed the letter, but as we've discussed before, the letters are just labels. So in fact, what I saw before, there we go. Instead of 1 over x, it's going to be 1 over u. Okay, there's one part of the chain. Here comes the other part, it's du on dx. What's the derivative up here? 2x, very good. You guys are getting really, really fluent at this. I just need to piece these two together and I've got a derivative. So let's have a look. dy on dx equals, I'm going to do this one first. 2x, I could multiply this by 1 over u, but it's the same as dividing by u. And you guys know what u is, we set it right up there. x squared minus 1. Okay. Now, this is actually such a neat little form. Do you see it's just a fraction where the top is the derivative of the bottom? Can I just say that one more time? What we've gotten here is a fraction where the top is the derivative of the bottom. So a shorthand for that that you'll see a lot. And you'll even, if I'm not mistaken, see it on the reference sheet. It's f dash on f. It's kind of like a really nice form. It's a very easy formula to remember. So this is what happens whenever you differentiate log of whatever you want. Stick anything in there, right? x squared minus 1, put in any of those other functions you want. If you put it in there, you differentiate it, you get f dash on f, which kind of rolls off the tongue nicely, okay?